Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this session, we are going to discuss so one C technical interview question. And the concept is a switch case, the control statements. So, this is the code and how it will execute. And remember the switch case statement we are defining inside the for loop. So, as long as the condition is true of for loop, switch case executes inside. So, first of all, the so, i value we are initializing with 1. Here, 1 is less than or equals to 20, condition true. So, the control move inside and here it will substitute the value. i value is 1 will be substituted. And how switch case executes? So, directly, directly it will switch to that particular case, case 1. It will skip that 0 case because here i value substituted that is 1 and now here initially i value is a 1, i value is 1. Now, so from case 1, so all the things will be executed, all the expressions i plus is equals to 3 is nothing but compound assignment operator i is equals to i plus 3. Here it is i equals to i plus 3 means what? Value become 4 and next here it is i plus is equals to 2, so value become 6 i plus is equals to 3, here it is a value become 9. Next i plus is equals to 3, is a value become 12, 12. So, now all the cases execute, sir why all the followed cases execute, so here it is only case 1, no? so because there is no break statement, so that we need to consider. If there is no break statement after execution of a particular case, so all the followed cases executes along with the default case also. And once the switch case execution is over, the control come out of the switch case and it will print that i value. So, what is that i value here? 12. So, it will print. So, first time i value 12 it will print. After switch case execution, again for loop condition it will check, but before checking the condition it will modify. So, i plus plus from here, from here the control will move to here i plus plus. So, i value become 13 it will substitute the value 13 here, 13 is less than or equals to 20, the condition is true, move inside, switch off 13, there is no 13th case here, so directly the control switch to default case. If there is no such case, so directly default case executes, so here it is i equals to i plus 3, so i value is a 13, 13 plus 3 is a value is a 16. 16 here it is a, the control come out of that and it will print i value is a 16. After printing the value 16 again it will go and increase the value i value will modify the value becomes 17 and it will check the condition 17 is less than or equals to 20 condition true control move inside switch off 17 there is no such case 17 so default case executes 17 plus 3 is a 20 it is a 20 execute. So, here i value it will print is a 20. Next again it will repeat the loop i plus plus as so, i value become 21 and now the value will be substituted 21 is less than or equals to 20 the condition has failed. So, it terminates the program whenever this outer condition has failed. So, the control will not go inside and execute the switch loop switch case. So, this is how the program executes and this is the output of this program 12, 16 and 20 is the output of this program. So, hope you understood. For more videos, please subscribe to Naresh IT channel. Thank you.